example of Eco 101. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to calculate opportunity cost from the PPF. Please note, this tutorial is only to be seen after you have finished watching Lecture 1 and Lecture 2 because without finishing Lecture 1 and 2, this tutorial will not make complete sense. Of course, it is also important that you have finished the relevant reading and also have done your individual study. Now, as you can see, the same PPF graph that we have used in our lecture is also being used in this tutorial. Notice this, you are always using the same model which is in your textbook. This is because to give you the relevance and for the ease of your education so that when you visit your book you find the materials to be relevant. Now, as you can see, this table is an exact replication of the model. Here, the points A, B, C, D, E, F is now in numerical terms represented in the table. Since we have the numbers in the numerical term, we shall now be able to calculate the opportunity cost. While we will be learning to calculate the opportunity cost, we will also try to prove the point that opportunity cost increases as we move along the PPF curve. This should sound relevant to you if you have seen the second lecture where we have proved theoretically why the opportunity cost increases as we move along the PPF curve and this time we are going to see this mathematically and try to prove it why opportunity cost increases as we move along the PPF curve. So let's begin. As you can see, the formula of opportunity cost is given here for you, which is a quite simple formula. Simply, it is dividing the change in decrease of product A by the change in increase of product B. Because as you know, when we move along the PPF curve, one product increases and the other product decreases. Therefore, the formula of opportunity cost should make exact sense to you. Once again, the formula is change in the decrease of product A divided by change in the increase of product B. Having said that, let's now start with the opportunity cost of producing a pizza. So obviously, we have learned from our lectures so far that the opportunity cost of producing something is the next best alternative for gone. In this case, if we are producing more pizza, then we are going to definitely forego or sacrifice more CDs. As a result, we now need to show this mathematically. So let's begin. Provided we have the formula, we're just gonna plug in the numbers and see what are the results. So, on the numerator, we have change in decrease of product A. In this case, if we are making more pizza, what is decreasing? CDs. Wonderful. And if we are producing pizza, then what is increasing? Obviously, pizza. So, product A in this case is CD, product B in this case is pizza. Now, the formula should go something like this. If we move along from point A to point B, we are going to produce from 0 to 1 pizza. Similarly, when we are moving from point A to point B, we are going to produce less CD, that is, from 15 CDs to 14 CDs. Obviously, you can also see this in the graph. As we are moving from point A to point B, we are producing more pizza and less CDs. Now, let's plug this in the formula. As we move from point A to B, the change in decrease is 15 minus 14 divided by 1 minus 0. 
and here we go we have the first opportunity cost of producing a pizza from going from point A to point B next when we move from point B to C let's see what happens the same application holds once again when you are moving from point B to point C as you can see in the graph as well we are producing more pizza and less and less CDs so let's see how this works this time the numbers will be 14 minus 12 by 2 2 minus 1 and here you have the second opportunity cost similarly I will also do the third one for you where you should have 12 minus 9 by 3 minus 2 and so on the rest of them should be 4 and the rest will be 5 I'm sure I've done the first three for you you will be able to do the next two that isn't much of a big problem now what can you see here you have successfully found the opportunity cost of producing a pizza as you can see the opportunity cost of producing the very first pizza is one CD the opportunity cost of producing the second pizza that is one more additional pizza is two CDs once again the opportunity cost of producing the third pizza that is just one more additional pizza this time you are giving up three CDs and the opportunity cost of making one more additional pizza this time just for one more additional pizza you are giving up four CDs so therefore this proves as we move along the PPF curve the opportunity cost increases and now this should make more sense to you as you also know the theoretical aspect behind it which we have discussed in detail in lecture number two so now that we have both the theoretical aspect in head as well as the mathematical aspect that we have seen right now in this tutorial I hope the calculation of opportunity cost for PPF is clear to you having said that you should also be able to calculate the opportunity cost of producing CDs you should be able to do this by yourself I would recommend give it a shot and see how it goes with this I end this tutorial thank you